lead over another in a best of seven series only 13 times in all those series has the team down 3-1 come back and the Nuggets have now just done it twice in consecutive series first team ever do that twice in a single playoffs an absolute stunner of a result uh, raise your hand if you had the Nuggets in the Western Conference Finals when they were down 3-1 okay now put your hand down because you're lying no one believes you um, that's the Hall of Famer Isaiah Thomas that's Karan Butler I'm Matt Weiner. I don't know how to explain this. The Nuggets outscored or outscored the Clippers by 64 points over the last three second halves. They were down double digits in each. And somehow, Zeke, they're moving on. And the Clippers, this super team with incredible depth that a lot of us, myself included, picked to reach the NBA Finals going back to last summer, they're done. They're out of the bubble, headed home. You know, the, the Clippers never could figure out the 1-5 screen and roll. And... And I, I look at I look at I look at Joker and I look at Murray and in, in the one five screen and row and it reminded me a lot of Lambeer and I in terms of pick and pop. Lambeer not nearly as great a passer as the Joker, but in terms of stretching the defense, knocking down the three, and then being able to pass to different people. I mean, and the Clippers never could figure it out. Now the Joker went inside, and when he went inside, you know the game was over. I mean. Uh, I, I felt Murray and, and the Joker uh, the, and Jokic, they, they really not only dominated the game, but offensively, every time the Clippers tried to do something defensively, they had a counter with a stretch or a post. Nikola Jokic dominated is the word, Zeke, dominated the game and only took 13 shots, which is just extraordinary. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, the Nuggets executed that pick and roll, and as you mentioned, the, the Clippers could never find an answer for it. But at the same time, L.A. once again, Karan, had a double-digit lead, and a lot of people watching this series and the games within this series are saying, what happened to this team down the stretch in these instances? It's all about the Denver Nuggets, and I was blessed and fortunate to do an internship with Tim Conley, uh, Calvin Booth, uh, Josh Kroenke, those guys let me come over in my transition on working in this space after I retired. And I watch, you know, Coach Malone say that we're a couple years away from being a couple years away. Then the development of Murray and then the development of Joker to saying that, you know what, we just need a few more pieces and we're going to get there. Adding guys like Grant and different uh, pieces to that nucleus. Uh, they just they ready for the moment and we still thought that it was a year away you know going against the Los Angeles Clippers because they possess so much firepower when you're talking about the reigning fi finals MVP and Kawhi Leonard coming over uh, to join that team with Paul George joining that team with already that production off the bench and that firepower and Lou Williams and Montrez Harrell and the coaching staff in place Jerry West over there as well but the Denver Nuggets, this is all about them. I know that we're going to talk about the Clippers because we just saw one of the biggest upsets, I feel like, in sports history when you talk about all the things that they was, you know, expected to be, uh, expected the, the series, the battle of L.A. and everything. But you got to give a ton of credit to Jamal Murray and all those guys for just stepping up, being present in the moment because clearly the Clippers was not present in the moment. They took advantage of the situation. When you talk about the Denver Nuggets and their young talent, they believe. Even when they was down 3-1, they believed in the series prior, and they was battle-tested from that hardship of last season, exiting in a, a fashion that they wasn't okay with. Mm -hmm. And they came back, and, and this format, they really feel uh, uh, some way about their talents and what they can do. And immediately in that post-game interview, on um, that walk-off, I'm sorry that I'm long-winded, but everybody said, you know what, what about the Lakers? You know, Look, we got talent over here too, and we feel like we can upset and beat just about it. Inflicted, admittedly, this was the eighth time they had a chance to win their way into the conference finals, and they are 0-8 in those circumstances. And tonight, their biggest stars, the, the coup of the coups of last summer's uh, spending spree and acquisition spree, just didn't play well tonight. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, a combined 10 of 38 for 24 points as we check the shot chart presented by Kaiser Permanente. Zeke, was there anything about the approach from Kawhi and PG that stands out to you tonight that just, did, you know, that just wasn't effective? You know, when you look at the shot chart, I mean, really, it, it came down to, to them being a jump shooting team. And, and they had no ball penetration. They couldn't get to the basket. They couldn't find a way to, to break uh, Denver's. And he shows up in the post. 
a big man is capable of dominating the game inside the paint with his size and with his passing ability when you have to come back and double team. And the joke only took Jokic only took 13 shots, but they had to double team him every time he touched the ball in the paint because he was dominant. And thus he was able to pass and get open shots for everyone. So the the Lakers, they have two defensive centers uh, that can that can match up inside with with Jokic. So they'll have a better, you know, defensive presence. But I thought the Clippers had no defensive interior presence when Jokic went inside. Consequently, they had to double team him. When they double teamed him, he made them pay every single time. It was uh, fascinating for a team full of good defenders. They just could not solve the Nuggets puzzle. Here's head coach Doc Rivers. Everything that started with the season with the talent on hand, the stated desire to win a title. What does this feel like after the last three games? Uh, just disappointed, you know. Um, I thought we had so many opportunities over the last three games to win. Um, but listen, you got to give Denver credit. They kept playing, they kept executing, they kept playing together. Um, you know, so right now, just disappointment, you know. Um, honestly, I thought um, just you could just see the difference in the, in the two teams. Uh, that team's been together. Um, we haven't, and you could see it as the games went on. Um, they just knew each other so well. Um, I thought offensively, even though I, I mean, listen, we had great shots. I mean, great shots all night. I still didn't think we trusted. You know, we, we did at the beginning of the game. Uh, we did coming out of the third quarter. We got a seven-point lead. Uh, but right when they put pressure on us, um, you know, honestly, I just thought we didn't come through. Thanks, Doc. We'll go to home. Hey, Doc. Um, th this team uh, never was able to reach its full potential. How good did you think this team could have been? And um, did the expectations, were they ever too heavy for this team? No, uh, we didn't meet them. Uh, that's the bottom line. Uh, I'm the coach, and, and I'll take any blame uh, for it. But we didn't meet our expectations, uh, clearly, uh, because we had, uh, in my opinion, we, we'd still be playing. I'll take a question from the bubble with Dan. Doc, game seven's a lot of times the stars are supposed to. Well, game seven's our make-miss game at the end of the day. Um, I don't think it was those two. I just think as a group, it wasn't just those two, you know. Um, if you, if you look at our shot quality, it was pretty dang good, you know. Um, but the ball didn't go in. And, you know, on those nights, you, you hoped um, that you can lean on your defense. And I just didn't think, you know, even though numbers say we were a good defensive team, uh, I just didn't think we ever realized that part of our game at all. We'll stay down there.